One of the more difficult positions to get right when you're first learning is the lateral knee. To this day, I still have trouble with it sometimes. On paper, it sounds easy, right? You turn the patient onto their side, you flex their knee, line it up with the x-ray tube and slightly angle and you're done. Kind of. The reality is that this is one of those projections where even if you're slightly off, you lose a lot of diagnostic value. And it's not always obvious how you went wrong until you're reviewing it afterwards. I still remember when I had recently qualified, I got a patient coming in for a knee x-ray and I think it was for a standard one for like OA. Anyway, so I got to the lateral view, I lined everything up as I was taught and exposed and to me it looked pretty good. Not perfect, but you know, pretty good. And when I showed it to the rad that was supervising me, he immediately knew how to fix it and what went wrong. And I was like, okay, x-ray vision, how do you do that? And here's what he taught me. To get the condyle superimposed or basically overlapped side to side, you need to externally rotate the knee more than you think, which means rotating it towards the board or the detector. Just trust me on this one. But look, don't go crazy and have it almost oblique. What I mean is that when you have your patient's knee on the side and you don't see the condyles of the distal femur overlapping side to side, then it's almost most likely that you haven't externally rotated the knee enough. And then he said, if you want the condyle superimposed top to bottom, then you need to have a tube angle of about five degrees towards the patient's head or cephalic. But taking that with a pinch of salt, because the rule only applies when the patient hasn't had a total knee replacement or a TKR for short. And as a rad, you would easily know this, either by the referral saying it or the patient saying it, or even just by looking at the patient's knee, you can tell if they've had a total knee replacement surgery because the surgery suture line is visible right in the middle. But you know, at the end of the day, what I learned was this, is that every patient is different. And in fact, you'll get to a stage where you'll come across a patient and you'll follow exactly the rules and you still won't get the condyle superimposed. It is what it is. So don't over obsess over the little details because not every anatomy is built the same. Radiography is not an exact science, which I know for a lot of you is quite annoying as it was for me because you probably just want something to memorize and be done with it, but it just isn't how it works. Instead of over obsessing the angles and memorizing the specific numbers, what I'd instead recommend is that once you've taken the x-ray to then know how to go back and fix it. To me, that's the true x-ray vision. By looking at an x-ray, critiquing it, and knowing what exactly you need to do next to make it perfect based on what you've seen on the first x-ray. Now, I've made a video on this before where I talk about this in more detail, so if you haven't seen that, be sure to click here to watch that. See you there, stay curious.